Mountains in western Connecticut may not even top the freezing mark. So yeah, definitely our coldest day of the season so far. And as we head towards uh, the next couple of days, it will start to warm up. So it is going to be our coldest day of, uh, of the week. And as we go on through the night tonight, Temperatures drop into the teens and 20s, but luckily not a lot of wind. So at least it'll feel like the numbers you see there, which obviously is still cold, but at least there won't be a ton of wind. We'll talk about the rest of the forecast. We'll be checking back in with meteorologist Matt Scott coming up in a little bit. That's the latest for now. We'll send it back to you. OK, let's take a quick look now where our state currently stands with COVID cases and hospitalizations. We continue to trend in the wrong direction. At least testing is robust, though. Almost 33,000 tests were performed in the state since Monday. 1,702 of them came back positive. So once again, the daily positivity percentage was over five. And that uh, that orange line there, the rolling average, the two week rolling average is at 4.8% and climbing. Here's what our hospitalizations look like. I want to show you our peak back in April where again we were just shy of 2000 and even though nationally we're at a record number of hospitalizations we still have a long way to go here in Connecticut so that's a bit of good news but we're at 777 which is a rise of 20 from the day before again that curve is still not quite as steep as April's curve was but it's going up and there's no signs that it's stopping anytime soon so again 777 uh, COVID patients an increase of 20 also Talking about deaths, 12 more were related yesterday. We've been averaging about 10 a day for the past couple weeks now. Vermont is the latest New England state to be added to our travel advisory list. Maine and New Hampshire were added last week. No states or territories were removed. So if you're entering the state from any red areas, and pretty much it's the entire country outside of New York, New Jersey, and I think Hawaii, you'll need to quarantine for 14 days once you get here or provide a negative test result. Now, some cities, including New Haven, are considering further rollbacks when it comes to their reopening because, as you saw, the number is headed in the wrong direction. Let's get out to Fox 61's Lisette Nunez. She's live in New Haven with more on that. Good morning. Good morning, and we heard from Mayor Justin Elliker. He made it loud and clear that he wants the state to consider rolling back to phase one. He believes this is necessary to slow the spread of COVID-19. He had mentioned that based on information that they had gathered from contact tracing, that they were seeing some transmission happening at gatherings um, at restaurants. So what this would essentially mean if it happens is that uh, phase one would mean that restaurants could no longer do indoor dining. They could still do take out and delivery and we heard this message from not only Mayor Justin Elliger but also from Mayor Kurt Lang. We need to eliminate as many possibilities for people to interact without masks. From a health and safety standpoint it's just not a safe place to be at this time not with the numbers that we have. And we've also heard from a number of restaurants expressing their own concerns, saying that if this was to happen, this could potentially put them out of business. Now, we also heard from Governor Lamont in his last COVID-19 update. He says he doesn't believe a total shutdown is necessary to slow the spread of COVID-19, but he does believe that he will also be looking into indoor dining, uh, gyms, and then also places of worship. We're live in New Haven, Lisa Nunez, Fox 61 News. The commissioner of the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services tested positive for COVID-19. Commissioner Miriam Delphin Rittman released a statement saying, quote, while I am experiencing mild symptoms, I am able to rest and safely quarantine at home. Rittman added that she had limited face-to-face -face contact with coworkers due to teleworking. She said she's grateful her colleagues at the office have not been exposed. A Bristol bar accused of violating a number of COVID regulations put in place for businesses. The Department of Consumer Protection suspending the liquor license for Legend Sports Bar in Bristol. Health officials say they found multiple violations last week during a spot inspection at the bar. In a statement, Governor Lamont says this action by DCP shows businesses that are not operating according to state regulations will not go unnoticed. Oh, new for you this morning, UConn's Board of Trustees voted to approve contract agreements that will allow student COVID testing to continue during the spring semester. Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro joining us live from the store's campus this morning with more details on that. Angelo, good morning. 
Ashley, Tim, good morning. And this is so incredibly important because this means that students here at UConn are going to have easy access to COVID testing come next semester. Now, the university has been working with three different medical service providers. This